look at how close it is between the top three. Russell's off. George Russell into the wall and out of the race. It's heading to this man instead. The whole weekend, honestly, just was one of the best weekends of my life as a racing driver. B1, baby, B1. Right from the beginning, from FP1, I felt really at home with the car. I think I led pretty much every single session from then onwards, and I felt like it was coming. You know, after leading so many sessions up to Q3, the pole position. It was the first time that uh, it was not uh, a Red Bull on the on P1. Carlos Sainz, hats off. He's delivered it once again. Do we have it? We have it. And now, and two in a row. Yeah, we have it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It was super close, yeah. And I really felt like going into Sunday that if I nailed everything that I had planned to do, the, the win was possible, even though that season seemed like winning was going to be difficult. That weekend, I had the feeling from the beginning that, that it could happen. The Singapore Grand Prix is go! Carlos Sainz holds the lead. Keeping the lead at the start in Singapore is always fundamental. Single pit stop well executed by the team, good strategy there. The last few laps with the Mercedes catching us on medium tires when we were all on very worn hearts. I was obviously starting to get a bit under pressure from Lando, but I know I knew Lando was in the same bad situation as me, which was uh, struggling with the tires as much as I was being. And the Mercedes suddenly cut, caught us, and I took uh, the decision to a couple of laps that Lando caught off my DRS to back off a little bit, keeping the DRS to help him stay ahead of the two Mercedes in order to protect my position. Lando point eight behind, point eight with DRS. Russell, no DRS. Yeah, it's a purpose. Copy that. Carlos did a mega job. He was, uh, he was quick all over the weekend, but he was also very clever at the end to keep uh, Norris into the DRS the last uh, probably 10 laps to avoid to be attacked by the, the two Mercedes. And I think it was a very, very clever move, probably the, the most clever of the season from everybody. It's not like I wanted Lando to finish P2 or anything like that, which I actually don't mind and I'm happy for him, but I felt like if I really wanted to, to win that race, I needed to keep the Mercedes behind Lando. Lewis was catching up on George and it was getting more intense. And then unfortunately, George, in trying to win the race and, and going for it, made a marginal error, touched the wall, and, and that was it. Hey! Hey! Suddenly you realize you're in the last lap and you're like, okay, I've made it here, just don't do any mistake and, and the win is yours, no? And the feeling when you cross the finish line is, it's indescribable, basically. I, I don't think you can describe how good it feels to win a Formula One race like that. Carlos Sainz, tactical brilliance. Carlos Sainz, the winner of the Singapore Grand Prix. It was the first time that uh, it was not uh, a Red Bull on the on P1, and the mood into the team was mega. Honestly, I've never seen the team so happy. I've been three years in Ferrari, and the mechanics and everyone were just ecstatic. What a mega job you did there. What a smart race. <laughs> you know what? This is my first smooth operation in Ferrari. Smooth operator. The Singapore was a great feeling. It was also my first podium with uh, with Carlos, and I will keep it in mind.